PSG just got dismantled by Newcastle. This was one of their worst ever Champions League nights. Look at Mbappe's face. Even he couldn't believe it. Every year, PSG go to the Champions League with the expectation of winning it. And guess what? Every year, they disappoint. But not anymore. Because I'm going to become the manager of PSG. And my goal is to get them their first ever Champions League trophy. But I don't think it's going to be easy. Because I'll have to manage the egos of players like Kylian Mbappe. Figure out a tactical system that's going to get the best out of everyone and also survive one of the most difficult Champions League groups ever. But you know what? I think I'm ready for this challenge. And so my job as PSG manager begins now. First thing I'm doing is, of course, assessing the squad we've got. Instantly, I realized that there are two South Americans missing. Yep, both Messi and Neymar have been sold. Now, PSG have replaced them with Kolo Muani and Usman Dembele, but it's not the same. Messi and Neymar have the ability to create goals out of nothing. Don't know if Kolo Muani and Dembele can do that. This is literally killing. Kylian Mbappe's team now. He's gonna have to do everything, but I guess that's what he wants. Moving to the midfield, again, it looks pretty average. And the defense is more like just Grinia and Marquinhos are gonna be the players to defend. Nuno Mendes and Hakimi are just gonna be bombing forward. But you know what? Before we make any assumptions of the team, make any decisions on who we wanna sign with this 264 million budget that we've got, I kinda just wanna get a feel of this team. PSG played Toulouse in the French Super Cup final, and it's probably the best game to get a good feel of this team. Here we go. My first game as PSG manager is about to kick off. Instantly, I can now tell where this team is lacking. The midfield is it's not good enough. We're unable to control the middle part of the pitch. But Kylian Mbappe is so good, he makes up for the lack of quality in midfield. And he's actually scored. My first goal as PSG boss, and of course, it's Mbappe who scores it. Nah, Kylian Mbappe is actually insane. He's just broken through the defense with sheer pace. And there's the finish as well. One thing's for sure. Our job as PSG manager, get the best out of Mbappe. We do that and I think we'll be fine. And with Kylian Mbappe's brilliance, we managed to win our first trophy with PSG. But make no mistake, there were a lot of improvements this team needed and it's time we get to work. But before we can do any of that, Kylian Mbappe dropped a bombshell. In a post-match interview, he said that this was going to be his last season at PSG and nothing can change his decision. No way, guys. Mbappe's contract is expiring. You guys saw how important he was for our team. We're trying to sit down with him talk and discuss. But looks like nothing can change his mind. He does not want to renew with PSG. I just got a message from Kylian Mbappe. Hey boss, I've made my decision. Next season, I'll be leaving. But make no mistake, I'm going to give everything this season to win my first Champions League with PSG. Well, that's good to hear, but it's kind of problematic for us. Are we really going to build a team around a player that we know is leaving? What if we don't win the Champions League this season? We'll be stuck because our squad will be built around Mbappe and he won't be there. Or do we just give it every everything this season to win the Champions League with Mbappe, give him a great send-off, it's a tough one. But you know what, guys? The quality of killing Mbappe is, I think, unmatched. He's the world's best player, and if we have one season with him, I'm gonna make the most of it. We're building this team around Mbappe. He's gonna get all the freedom, but if we are doing that, they're gonna be sacrifices. Kolo Muani is gonna have to track back and defend. So is Usman Dembele. That's the only way we'll get a bit of balance in this team. Now that we've got the Mbappe situation, the attack under control, we can focus on the rest of the squad. And just in that one game, you would have noticed that this midfield is very average. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's talent here for sure. Ugarte probably was the player that impressed me the most, but Bettini and Zaire Emery? Nah, man, especially with Messi and Neymar gone, we need some creativity in the midfield. And with this 264 million as our budget, it's time to bring in someone that can change our midfield. And that someone for me is Bernardo Silva. Guys, he's literally got everything to just dominate through that midfield. Look at his stats. The dribbling is crazy. Ball control, passing, everything is perfect. Bernardo Silva is that guy. I'm thinking playing him in right center mid, he could be supplying Mbappe with through balls, Dembele as well. And he's the kind of player that's willing to track back and defend. Look at his defensive work rate. One thing's for sure though, he's in his prime. He's just won the Champions League. He's gonna be expensive. If PSG wanna win the Champions League, they've got to invest in their midfield and that's exactly what we're doing. Ooh, Pep Guardiola negotiating with him is gonna be tricky. I'm chucking 110 million to kick things off here. It's a good offer to start with. What is Pep gonna think? He's countering with 111. Okay, fair enough. Let's get the deal done then. There you go. We're bringing out the checkbook. Bernardo Silva is happening. I don't think convincing
think Bernardo Silva should be that tricky because if you've been checking the rumors, he's considering leaving Man City anyways. Barcelona were interested in PSG as well. He's completed his career at Man City. He wants something new and I think we can offer him that. But of course, we'll also have to offer him more money as well. So 320,000 per week for Bernardo Silva. Is that going to be enough to pull off this signing? Yes, it is. And so my first signing as PSG boss is going to be Bernardo Silva. Look at him meeting Kylian Mbappe already. Both of them are ready to cook. And looks like we completed the signing of Bernardo at the right time. Liga was about to begin and we're facing Lens. This is going to be a good test for us because, you know, RC Lens are a decent team. They actually beat Arsenal in real life. The difference in our midfield with Bernardo Silva. He's just able to walk through players unbelievable and then pick out the perfect pass as well. Bernardo Silva sliding it through for killing Mbappe. It's brilliantly done and Mbappe scores! And let's go guys. Three games into the season and we've got a perfect record in Liga. The trans window is done too which means we can't make any more signings until January. But I think I'm really happy with the team we've built and the project is going well. But our real season begins now because it's Champions League time. We've got literally the most difficult Champions League group I think I've ever seen. Dortmund are amazing. AC Milan are really good too and Newcastle United not have the money to do whatever they want. But if we really want to win the Champions League, we've got to top the group. Now that we've got a bit of understanding though of the team, I think it's time for us to kind of outline the kind of football we want to play. And for this PSG team, I think wing play is going to be the best. Because it basically means we'll be getting the ball out wide to Mbappe and Dembele as much as possible and then they can unlock the defenses. Hopefully it works. It's now time for our Champions League journey to begin at match day one versus Dortmund. We have literally the craziest Champions League group. We need to start off with a win. But instead, we had a disastrous start. No, Skriniar, what have you done? Of course, that's going to be a yellow card. Now it's up to Donnarumma to save us. Come on, Donnarumma, can you make the save? Yes, he can. Let's go. I'll tell you this, guys. The Champions League is a lot more difficult than Liga. Like, absolutely. 30 minutes in, and we've barely done anything. Get the ball to Mbappe, and things will happen. That's what we're trying right now. Still Mbappe. Mbappe. Still Mbappe. Mbappe has done that. Are you kidding me? That's what happens when you've got the world's best player. We're finally seeing Usman Dembele as well perform. Can he play that pass? Of course he can. Call him one. He threw a goal and let's go. Someone other than Mbappe contributing is big for the team. First Champions League group stage game and we secured the win. Luis Enrique, take notes. Looks like we've got this PSG team working. Good start to the Champions League as well as being top of the French League. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're now facing Newcastle at St. James's Park and you guys know what happened there. PSG got destroyed. This is going to be a proper test for us playing Newcastle who are in the form of their lives in the Champions League. If we can handle this, I think what we're doing is working. No, 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 no. Newcastle have opened us up so easily. What was our defense doing? Oh, Newcastle with another chance. Joe Linden! How did we let him get the shot off there? Shocking defending. We tried everything to make the comeback but the ball just wasn't going in. On. Unbelievable. Newcastle have stunned us at St. James's Park. What has just happened here? We're now third in our Champions League group. This is a problem. That game made me realize that there are still a lot of issues with this team. I'm not convinced with Vitinha, man. Honestly, he's so average. At the back, Skrinia, I mean, what's he doing? I think we need to replace these two. And maybe that'll make a difference. Thankfully, we have Lucas Hernandez. I'm keen to see what he can do for us. And in midfield, I'm going to make a bit of a controversial call Zaire Emery. This young kid, I know he's got potential, but at 75 overall, can he be the guy for us? I mean, I'm willing to take the risk. I even sat there and hired some of the best midfield coaches we can get to help with the growth of Warren Zaire Emery. But here we go, must win Champions League game at San Siro, and I'm starting Zaire Emery. It's a big, big decision. First touch for Zaire Emery, and honestly, feels confident on the ball. Good dribbling as well. This is nice. And he's got a good pass too. Zaire Emery waiting for Mbappe to make that run. And he's timed that pass really well. And here goes killing Mbappe. Can Mbappe finish the job? Of course he can. He's killing Mbappe. But Zaire Emery is really making an impact in that midfield. At the age of 17, Zaire Emery was bossing the Milan midfield. And thanks to his performance, we got the win against AC Milan. Okay, guys, I think we found our centre mid. Zaire Emery is going to be a starter. I'm going to mould him into being one. Because I saw everything I needed to see. He's got the talent. Our midfield of Zaire Emery, Ugarte and Bernardo was unbelievable at keeping the ball. And when you've got a functioning midfield, things get easier in the attack. Dembele... 
Dembele, a new spawn. Dembele scores. Let's go. We then face Dortmund next, and Mbappe got a penalty. Penalty for Mbappe. Surely he can put us into the lead. Mbappe, what a pen. It's now time for the rematch versus Newcastle. We're in incredible form. We figured out how we want to play. It's time for revenge. Newcastle once again get the better of us by getting an early goal. Guys, really, we beat AC Milan, we beat Dortmund, but we can't beat Newcastle. Nah, we've got to make the comeback here. We really need to finish top of the group. Mbappe, Mbappe, the pace is ridiculous. Killian Mbappe against Newcastle. Let's go. Mbappe down the wing is unstoppable. Look at him dribble. He gets that shooting angle, goes for goal, and he's put it in somehow. I have no idea how he's pulled that off. And yes, we do end up beating Newcastle this time around. Top of our Champions League group. That's what we wanted. We're now in January, halfway through the season. Top of Liga as well. And since it's January, I actually considered improving the team. Honestly, I think everything's going well and we shouldn't really change much. Zer Emery has impressed me so much. Look at his growth as well. He's up to a 79. But there is still one change I want to make. I'm moving Kolo Muani to the left winger position and Mbappe as striker. And if you're asking why, just look at this. Kolo Muani has been extremely average for us so far. When he was playing as a striker we weren't really getting the best out of him and Mbappe can play anywhere we know how good he is so I kind of want to test this out and see if it works oh but Mbappe is not happy he submitted a transfer request as well I think that's down to his contract expiring he's looking for a pre-contract signing with another club but I think we've annoyed Mbappe with this decision but guys it's my call I feel like this is what this team needs and I'm making it regardless it's now time for the Champions League knockouts and we've drawn Lazio okay the game kicked off against Lazio, but Mbappe was not having any of it. Constantly sulking, not passing to his teammates. It's like he was proving a point to me. Guys, I, I can't have this. 40 minutes and Mbappe's done nothing and he's kind of hurting the team. Do you know what? I think we need to make a statement here. I've had enough of killing Mbappe, guys. I've just subbed him off. I cannot have a player constantly sulk on the pitch. It's a statement we're making and hopefully it pays off because if we get knocked out, it's going to be tough. Second off and now without Mbappe, we now need to find a way to beat Lazio. Bernardo Silva, lovely finish, come on! This just shows that we've built a team that's capable of getting the job done as Dembele scores as well. Even without Mbappe, we're able to knock out a team like Lazio. Oh no, we've drawn Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals. Without killing Mbappe, I don't think we can get past Bayern. Lucas Hernandez, who's been one of our reliable defenders, he's out injured as well. I'm not gonna trust Skriniar again, but Kim Pembe, I guess we'll play him. But that's all the more reason and we need to just patch up with Mbappe. Looks like we get another message from Mbappe. Hey boss, you've made your point. I didn't want to play as the lone striker, but I get it. You're the coach, you decide. But benching me for the remainder of the season, that doesn't make any sense. You know it too. You need me to win the Champions League. Let's call a truce and let's win the Champions League together. All right, Mbappe, I hear you. I guess Killian is doing this because he's already signed a pre-contract with Man United. Why is he going to Man United though? But fair enough, he's learned his mistake and we need him again against Bayern and he's gonna be there. Also guys, I'm on the hunt to reach 900k subscribers and I can only get there with your help. So if you guys can subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Kylian Mbappe starts against Bayern Munich. Hopefully, we can now all play as a team and get the job done. Oh, this is why I wanted Kolo Muani down that left flank. He's much better playing in so much space. Looks for killing Mbappe. Mbappe has to score and Mbappe off the post and in. Mbappe benefiting from Polo Muani's pace. And we strike first. Mbele. Looking for Kylian Mbappe using that pace central position. It's helping Kylian Mbappe score goal after goal. I told you Mbappe, all you had to do was just listen to me. Let me cook. And yup, the first leg performance was enough to see us through to the semi-final. But now we've got last year's Champions League finalists, Inter. We're so close now to a Champions League final. I can feel it. Oh, Kylian Mbappe through on goal. What a finish from Mbappe. How has he done that? Call him Wani. Call him Wani. Call him Number he gets his moment. That's why I want him to play in a position where he's comfortable. The goal to send us to a Champions League final. And yes, it's done. We're in a Champions League final against Benfica. How did they make it here? No way has this Benfica team made the Champions League final. What's Goncalo Ramos doing there? I thought he was supposed to be our player, but we didn't really use him all that much. Was he on loan? I think so. Is he trying to get revenge against us? Oh my. At least for now, we can take a bit of a breather as we're celebrating winning Liga with PSG. Not a 
a big deal. PSG do it every year. But this is the trophy that matters. Can PSG finally win the Champions League? I mean, we've built an amazing team. We fixed all their midfield issues. We handled Kylian Mbappe's ego. We improved the defense. I think we're ready. Oh no, but Nuno Mendes is suspended. Do we have anyone else who can play there? I guess Lucas Hernandez can play left back. He's gonna play. He's back from his injury, but this is not ideal. This is it, guys. The biggest game in PSG's history is about to kick off now. Mbappe's final game for PSG. Let's get that Champions League. I think I know how Benfica got here because they're looking insane. We've got to be careful. Remember Jose Mourinho's Porto? Benfica trying to do something like that, but we're somehow surviving. Another chance for them and Kim Pembe with the big block and Donnarumma with the save. This is getting really tough. Benfica playing some incredible football. They've broken through and no! Are PSG going to bottle yet another Champions League final? Is Mbappe's PSG career going to end like this? Oh, that's absolutely unreal from Mbappe. Keeps it inside. Killing Mbappe. Usman Dembele, no! Dembele. Crossing it for Kylian Mbappe. No, the header was saved as well. Half time, 1 0 down. We just can't seem to score. Can't give up though. There's still 45 minutes left. Usman Dembele is just using that pace. That could get us back into the game. Dembele crossing it back in. Kolo Muani. No. Kolo Muani. Brilliantly done. He needs to play this back inside. Usman Dembele, right place at the right time. We're back in this one. We're defending for our lives right now. And Donnarumma with the save. If you could do something, you're on the breakaway. Bernardo Silva's broken through. I need Mbappe to keep making that run. Bernardo Silva squaring it for Mbappe. It has to be him. In the 85th minute, Kylian Mbappe has possibly just won PSG the Champions League. We've just got one minute left and we've got Sarah Emery just using his ability to keep the ball. That's what we want him to do here. Just about a few seconds left now. It's done. PSG for the first time in their history have won the Champions League. Crazy how we pulled this off in one season, but to be fair, the pressure was on. Mbappe was only going to be here for this season, and we pulled it off. Luis Enrique, I hope you're taking notes. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me take over Barcelona for 10 seasons. Click here to watch that.